All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Monday Night Live with Greg and Neil. Welcome to the game. Dad, welcome back. You're back. You're back in your usual spot. Back in my usual spot. Yep. Back from my uh, hiatus. Oh, good. So um, we are going to be talking tonight about are you the problem in your business or is it external factors that are the problem in your business? But before I get into that, I have a quick update for everybody. I, If you were watching last uh, Monday, I said that we had a new announcement, and um, we do have that. The YouTube video will be released tomorrow about what I'm going to talk about, but I want to talk to you about it tonight, and that is um, we now have a membership uh, part to our channel. Now, if you're not familiar with what a membership is on YouTube, um, they're very popular on some uh, YouTube channels where you can become a member of that channel. There's a blue button that says join uh, next to where it says subscribe next to our logo and whichever it is that you're watching. That means you can join our membership. Now, normally a membership program, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, a lot of the channels that I watch for cars or music or things that I watch are a way to um, join a member of a channel for six or seven dollars a month, and you get access to special emojis and live streams and behind the scenes videos. And you can do anything you want with a membership program. So, our membership program is different. I'm not just asking you to give me six or seven dollars a month because you like us. We are actually going to make, as far as I know, the only business education training platform through YouTube that. I know exists. And what does that mean? Well, you can join our membership. We're calling them explorers. The members of this group are going to be our explorers and our explorers are going to have access to very, very detailed training that you will not find other places. Now you could go to Skillshare or Teachable or many different platforms and purchase a course from a creator for $20 or $30 and some are hundreds of dollars. Or you could find something from your favorite author or um, public personality that you like and take a training course from them for hundreds of thousands or thousands of dollars. So what we're doing is for as low as $20 a month, you can join the membership and there's going to be multiple trainings only available to members. And we're talking detailed training, stuff that people pay us for all the time are going to be done in a group setting through the YouTube membership. I already have confirmed a number of special guests who are specialists in their fields who are going to be contributors. The very first training session will be in the next two weeks, and it's going to be all about statistics and how to actually manage your business using statistics to keep score of your business. Then we're going to have budgeting then we're going to have marketing specialists. I'm going to be doing sales training along with Greg. Uh, we're going to have uh, business legal advice. We're going to have probably accountants. All sorts of people are going to be joining, and I've already talked to them, to be regular contributors to training and teaching other people at no catch or no extra cost. So you'll be able to join the membership, and uh, every month there will be a number of training sessions, at least two, sometimes three, maybe four, depending on how many members there are, uh, what the contributor schedules are going to be like. There's going to be members only live streams, members only chats, members only um, content that you can get. And if you click the join button, you'll see where for $20 US a month, you get to be part of all the membership stuff. Uh, if you go up to the $35 a month, you're going to get uh, a Facebook group that is specific uh, for the explorers who are that level and above. You're also going to get uh, downloads and checklists from us on how to implement certain information that we've trained you on. And then if you want to do $50 US a month, you'll get all of that plus two online courses that we've already shot um, called How to Control Your Income and How to Sell Anything, as well as a quarterly Zoom session with myself or with Greg whatever it is that you might be running into. So this membership, my goal for this membership is to have hundreds, if not thousands of people eventually 
who all are paying 20 bucks a month to learn how to be in control of their business. And I'm calling them explorers because really we're exploring knowledge. We are searching and finding experts in different fields and bringing them to you to train you in your business at you know a very low cost, comparatively speaking. And I actually want to make a group. I want to have an online resource where no matter what problem you have in your business, somebody who's an explorer or somebody that is our guest uh, host um, will actually be able to help you with. And those hosts, I've already talked to them, they're also willing to give you discounts on services and all sorts of cool stuff is going to be happening. And I've lined up the first month or two of content already. Um, I've already outlined the sales training. And I got to tell you, um, I think the first sales training video that we're going to do is just going to blow you away. Whether you're a really good salesman or you are terrified of selling anything, you're going to learn a lot on it. So that is our Matterhorn membership program. It's part of YouTube. So all you do is hit the join button next to uh, the icon on your screen where it says Matterhorn. If you're watching on a computer or your phone, um, you'll see a, a button that says join. All you have to do is uh, hit that button. It's going to give you three different options. There's a video you can watch that talks about it. And already we have two videos on selling that are members only videos. So once you join, before our first training session actually happens, you can watch uh, two videos that we did on the scale of selling. And that's a two part series that we filmed. Um, you'll be able to have access those right away. So, um, <laughs> Thoroughbred says, I dispatch commercial vehicles, but I don't know how to scale. Please help. Well, that's what the membership is there for. We're here to help you grow. And so this is something that um, I've been working on for a little while now. And it all just sort of came together in the last month of getting people on board who want to train, uh, coming up with the topics, the schedules, things like that. So I know I ran a little longer than the five minutes I thought I was going to to explain it, but <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's what we're here to do is help you train and learn. And the Explorers is a club that you can be a part of to learn how to do that. So that's all I have to say for now. Uh, now the other thing I'd like to say is yeah, that with our, with our membership group, we're going to be able to survey you. And as the economy changes, obviously 2020 was a weird year. Uh, quite honestly, our mentoring clients still expanded. Um, actually, our mentoring clients still did great. And so we can survey you, find out what's happening. And then with the membership group, uh, like Neil says, we have access to other professionals with even all the way up to banking, investing, um, tax, uh, just whatever the, the problem and the challenge is. If we don't have the answer, we know somebody who does have the answer. And yeah, we work with a lot of people and there is a survey, just so you know, Dad, that everybody, I'm asking everybody to fill out when they join. Oh, good. Where it's going to ask them what it is that they want to learn about, what problems they're running into in their business, et cetera, et cetera. And we are going to be able to make the training all customized towards the things that people want to learn about. If nobody's saying, you know, oh, uh, I don't need help with accounting, then we're not going to bring in an accountant and talk about accounting if that's not what anybody's looking for. So we're going to be able to customize everything. There's also going to be um, ways to do meet and greets virtually, so to speak, with me, uh, special members only type events like that. So like virtually, you know, yep. um, so it's going to be a lot of fun and we're looking forward to it. So the membership program officially is live as of last week, but nobody knew about it, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I got everything in through YouTube and submitted and verified and valid. So it's now live. Click the join button down below and you'll become part of the explorers. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So well, that I also uh, mm -hmm. in the comments here with thoroughbred, like his sales go great. That's what he wants to focus on. But then he needs to know how to scale. Uh, the membership can help, but also uh, thoroughbred, you might be more uh, appropriately matched to our adventure to profit program. Um, so, Neil, why don't you flash that link on the screen uh, sure. right now? Uh, here we go, adventure to profit.com. Thoroughbred, if you go to adventure to profit.com, fill out the application, uh, see if what the problem, the challenge that you're having is something that fits within the realm of what we do. 
And uh, if it looks like we might have a fit, then you'll get a call with Abby or me or Abby and me or Neil or some, we'll, we'll help you. So um, if, if you have something specifically that you want to address and it's a bit of uh, an urgency, then Adventure to Profit might be more appropriate for you. So what we're looking at doing is we have our, our monthly one-to-one -one mentoring that goes once a week or once every other week. We have Venture to Profit, which is basically group mentoring, and then we're going to have our memberships. So we're pretty much uh, on the scale of business knowledge, uh, starting pretty much from anywhere uh, in the range of what any business owner could possibly need. And then all you have to do now is just plug yourself in to the Matterhorn platform, and we can help you grow from wherever you're at. Yeah, as low as twenty dollars a month to thousands of dollars a month, depending right. on the size of business you have. We yeah. have some way of helping fill in whatever problems you might be having, and so that's mm -hmm. that's the whole goal there. Yeah. And um, the membership thing was kind of my idea; it's my creation. Abby put together the adventure to profit. You put together all of the uh, solo uh, training and mentoring, yeah. and now I'm coming in with the membership program. <laughs> so we're all three of us are. are specializing in different areas and having a lot of yeah. fun with it. So that's, that's yeah. what we're doing here. So that's going to lead us into our topic for this evening. So, uh, are you the problem in your business? Uh, yes. Um, that is all I have to say. Just <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was once told I have good news and I have bad news. Mm. And the guy goes, um, what do you want me to start with? I said, well, why don't you give me the bad news first? He goes, the problem is you. I'm like, okay, I kind of thought it was. And then he goes, then I say, what's the good news? He goes, the problem is you. I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, because if the problem was something other than you, then there's nothing you can do about it. That's right. And so by all means, the problem is you. And <clears throat> Thoroughbred, if I understand your comment, if we just kind of use use you as an example here and, and you can comment back if, uh, if I'm missing the mark, but um, you say your sales are like wildfire and that makes you want to focus on that. So I'm getting the idea that you, you really do a good job of selling, but then you can't scale because you have to have the four pillars of business basics. You have to have marketing, you have to have sales, you have to have delivery and you have to have management. And so then by all means, thoroughbred, the problem is you. Now it sounds like sales is not your problem. It's everything else. And so then we have to get you better at marketing and possibly not even marketing. If your sales are great, your marketing is good. Your sales are good. Then is your delivery able to match your sales and is your administration and your management able to match all of your sales and all of your delivery? And so what is management? It's hiring, it's managing the cash flow, it's ending up with a profit, it's paying off your debt, it's organizing, managed by statistics, Neil was talking about, making sure all the legal documents are in place, that's management. And so basically what we're trying to do here is on many, many different levels and many different gradients is help everybody touch base on those parts of the business that are the problem but it's not that part of the business is the problem. It's your lack of knowledge about that part of the business. That's your problem. So it does circle back around that the problem is you, but there's nothing wrong with you. The only problem is you just don't have enough knowledge. And so what we're trying to do in our YouTube channel, what we're trying to do, you know, say in my book, uh, we recommend profit first book, other books, um, well, I've, I've already done a YouTube video on the top books that I like for business. You can find that on our YouTube channel. It's about knowledge and um, I'm always buying books. I mean, uh, in the last three weeks, I've bought three books. So I was reading, I finished a book this week and I started another one on the airplane. So I'm always learning. I'm always looking for knowledge. And so, yes, the problem is you but actually the problem is your lack of knowledge. And so that's what you have to start to, to fix and rectify. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's like you said, there's good news and there's bad news. So if a person's business is successful and going good, they're the cause of that. Um, you know, you don't, uh, you create your own luck. So even if you think, oh my gosh, I'm super lucky right now and I'm only good because of the luck I have. Well, you've done something to put yourself in that position and be lucky to be successful or whatever it might be. If you don't realize that or not, then that's on you. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you're successful, then you are the cause of that success. And what I think happens is, is that, um, people who are successful are unwilling to take the credit for it. Uh, and then people who are losing or failing are unwilling to accept that they're the reason that they're losing or that they're failing. And so that's where, uh, you know, you have to find out what works for you and do what works for you. But when it's not working for you, you have to admit, okay, this isn't working for me. I have to change something. And that's where uh, the ability to intro, uh, introspectively look at things is going to tell you whether or not you're being successful. And also, I mean, if we take it outside the realm of just the simplicity of a lack of knowledge, <clears throat> you have to take a look that you started the company and you create the company policy and you create rules of engagement for your company. So, um, so let's say um, you, you open a restaurant and um, you're like that we're not going to do pizza. We're, we're just, we're just not going to do pizza. And so that's, that's one of your rules of engagement and that's your right. And that's one of the privileges you have for starting the business. But then, so that's kind of like you're shaping your brand at that point, but then, um, and, and let's even, I'm just thinking about thoroughbred scaling problem here. Um, <clears throat> so I had a dentist once who was, um, literally working, I don't know, 60 or 70 hours a week. And dentistry is very tedious. It's very stressful. And he's like, dude, I'm going to die at the chair. I'm killing myself. And I'm like, well, you need to hire another doctor. You're so busy. And he goes, oh, no, you know, nobody can do it as good as me. And, you know, I had an associate once and then blah. And here comes all this story. And uh, his name was James. And I'm like, James, you're killing yourself. And He's like, yeah, I know. I really need to expand. And, but it was this catch 22 that he was creating. And this went on for over 10 years until finally his daughter graduated from dental school. And then he brought her on as an associate. But I mean, James was the problem. So it is a little bit bigger. It is a little bit bigger problem than just like, oh, you need to get more knowledge. You have to take a look at what conclusions you have made. And if we just stick with this idea with James, like he's like, well, I need to scale. I need to, I need to get bigger. I need to grow. I'm killing myself. I had out of vacation in two years, hire an associate. Well, I can't do that because of blah, blah, blah. And so what, what we do here and what we're trying to do with all of the knowledge, all the professionals that Neil's going to be bringing in on the membership program is give you more information, give you another angle. Uh, what I joke with clients, and it's actually not a real joke. I joke with clients and I say, what we do on our mentoring program, and this is Adventure to Profit and the one-to-one -one program, is we put you in a helicopter on a regular basis and we go about two or 300 feet up in the air. And now when you're out of the battle, and you can look down on the playing field through our eyes and through using statistics and strategic planning, action planning, everything out of my book here, you're able to get a broader view and then you can start making your own decisions. So <clears throat> yes, you are the problem. You need more knowledge and you should check out my book review video on, um, on our YouTube channel. Neil, what would they put in the search bar? I forgot. I think it was just called book Greg's favorite books or something like that. Book review. Um, uh, I can find it while I'm chatting away here. Why don't you, it was that recent one that you did, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, I think it was earlier this year. Maybe you can just punch it up into the comment section, but you, first of all, first of all, 
you can't. You did a video me. called "The Best Books for Entrepreneurs." Yes, that's it. Okay, that was from November 2020. So they could just okay. type in uh, "Matterhorn Business Development: The Best Books for Entrepreneurs." They'll find it there. Good. And so the 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 death the death of fixing a business is blaming. Oh, we didn't have a good year last year because of COVID. And that honestly, that's that's not an excuse. Um, uh, your business got shut down because of COVID. Okay, I understand. Uh, then pivot and do something else. There was a fantastic story about a restaurant owner in Philadelphia. They got shut down, but you could have carry out and you could have delivery. And this was this was a kind of a four star fine dining restaurant. They had over a hundred employees. It was obviously a very successful operation. And the owner, I believe, she had started the business, built it up, and I think young, uh, 35 years old or so. And what she ended up doing, she unfortunately had to lay off like a hundred of the 125 staff, reworked the menu, bought a bunch of carry out and, and take out uh, platters and styrofoam, uh, had the emails of her customers and just started emailing everyone. Hey, we're open. This is our menu. We'll deliver. You can come and pick it up. Started running Facebook ads during COVID. Read my lips. She tripled. So that's what I'm talking about because it's real easy to blame. And, you know, you can blame your customers. You can blame other vendors that are supplying you things. You can blame the government who's in the white house. I don't care who you're blaming. There was a, somebody once said, and I wish I could give credit when you're pointing the finger at somebody else, there's three fingers pointing back at you. And so that really is kind of the only viewpoint to take is that whatever is right in the business you're doing and whatever is wrong in the business, you're doing that too. And if you start, it's fun to take responsibility for the great stuff, the positives, the thumbs up stuff, but you have to be willing to sit back and take a look at the thumbs down stuff and say, well, what am I doing to cause that? You know, why have I lost my last three staff members? What am I doing? Do I not have training material? Am I being a jerk? I mean, uh, am I not paying enough? I mean, you have to sit back and you have to take a look at it. Well, yeah. And that's, and that's the thing is that, uh, after working with, with business owners for so long, uh, so for those of you who didn't know, I used to, uh, do public lectures. I followed in Greg's footstep and teaching in the dental profession for a while. Um, when I used to do seminars, <clears throat> the only people who told me how bad their staff problems were, were total pricks and jerks. So, <laughs> That's right. You know, they're, they're just, they complain and bitch about everybody and everything, Yeah, you know, all oh, people here are so stupid and, uh, you know, blah, 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 hard to find good staff. Yeah, good staff. You, you Can't know, find good you staff. New York. You don't know New Jersey. Yeah. You don't, you don't know, know New South Jersey. <laughs> My pat answer for those guys just became, well, you know, I wouldn't work for you either. <laughs> and I would actually say that because yeah. they're so far to the point of it's everybody else's problem, not my problem that they need somebody to tell it to them. Like it really freaking is. Yeah. And I had a couple people when I said that, that just stared at me dumbfounded <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, listen to yourself. Yeah. Like I'm the best person that you could ever hire for your business. And I'd be gone before lunchtime mm -hmm. because of you. Right. And some of them got it and were like, Oh, right. But most of them were like, blah, 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 you know, <laughs> go leave me a one star review. That's great. I just laugh my ass off at it anyway. Um, <coughs> but I think, and you and I talked about this uh, a while ago on the channel, but I think the greatest representation of you're the problem in your business is go watch like every episode of The Profit, right? Yeah. I haven't watched The Profit in a while. I don't really have enough time to just kick back and watch a lot of TV. And when I do, I, I'm usually watching racing and all kinds of other stuff. Um, Plus, it just got a little bit repetitive. But um, go look at the profit, and or uh, great, great YouTube channel to watch to kill three or four minutes at a time is Gordon Ramsay, the chef. Um, 
his his YouTube channel is is hilarious of these little snippets. But like, here's this restaurant that can't get anybody to come in, and they blame the town and they blame the restaurant across the street. And then he goes in and eats the food, says it's absolutely horrendous, and they're like, oh, "Our food is great." <laughs> so what's he do? He goes into the refrigerator and just starts pulling out old rotting meat and all kinds of vegetables and all and he just starts destroying these people and they're still like but that's not the problem you know and it's he's yeah. just like he loses his mind because every episode of the prophet it's the people that can't get out of their own way and it, he comes in and this is what we do as consultants is we're completely objective and it's just like okay well why do you do things that way well this is the way we've always done it Okay, but why do we do it that way? Well, this is what we're supposed to do. But who came up with that idea? Right? And it takes a constant awareness of the fact that there is a problem there. And it takes somebody to be able to show you that you've created a problem that doesn't have to be there. And that's all he does in The Prophet is he finds out why people are stopping themselves from being successful and changes it. And, you know, yes when he invests into a business, what I like about Marcus is he puts money into a business. He puts his money where his mouth is. He buys a new building. He renovates. He does everything. But it's not because he renovated the building that that business starts to become successful. He changes the core of everything. But the main thing that he's doing in that show is highlighting to people what they are doing to stop themselves from being successful. And that's why you have to be able to look inwardly at your actions and what you do and actually say, you know what? This is a really bad idea. And this is why my business sucks and change it. And we're being taught, unfortunately, responsibility in the world is just a joke. Nobody knows what responsibility is anymore. And everybody wants to put it on somebody else. And you know what? If you want to blame your problems on everything but you, go ahead and keep doing that. But I'm just telling you, if you want to be successful, all you have to do is take more responsibility for your business than your competition across the street. And if you can take more responsibility for your business across the street, you can't lose because they are not your competition at that point in time. And you have to be able to look at it and look at what you're actually doing and unemotionally say... I suck at this, so I'm either going to change it or I'm going to hire somebody who can do it better for me. Or, you know, we see this a lot with, um, you know, I know somebody in particular who has a very successful business in this area where we live, and he's just a monster salesman and he sells tons of equipment and tons of jobs and he makes tons of money for his business. Um, but he can't replace himself out of the sales responsibilities because, quite frankly, he won't let anybody else sell for him. So he's the owner of the company stuck doing all the selling and making sure everything goes smoothly. And he's going to limit himself as to what he can do because he's not willing to let anybody else to do it instead of him. <laughs> so he's very successful, but he could be more successful. If he said, I'm no longer going to do this and I'm going to take these two guys to do it for me so I can focus on other things. That's the type of look that you have to have to be successful. Well, and <clears throat> I also want to toss in uh, another plug for somehow getting more engaged with us because you have to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. Um, Sorry, I'm my changing my practice. lighting here. No, that's okay. The sun went down and now I'm all dark. <laughs> but in my dental practice, I had consultants that I hired. My accountant uh, had lots of great ideas. Um, I was part of a dental study club, which is kind of like a dental networking group. And so you have to kind of get out of your business and get other ideas. And so this is why we're really excited about the membership program uh, for as little as $20 a month. Somebody can now start to get advice from some of these vendors and professionals that uh, we've built relationships with over the years. And so <clears throat> basically, uh, if you're stuck, you should go talk to somebody that you respect. Talk to people who have been successful. Talk to people in your industry who have been more successful than you. Uh, for the most part, if you go to somebody in your industry, let's say it's heating and air conditioning, 
uh, and they've they've got a business that's five times the size of yours. I'll bet if you ask them for help, they would give it to you. Um, you know, go to the vendor who's selling you your air conditioning equipment, and by all means, they would be happy to help you grow your business. So yes, you are the problem, but just walking around the neighborhood, you know, at midnight uh, with your head down saying, my gosh, I'm the problem. What am I going to do? That doesn't really solve the problem. So this is where what we're trying to do with Adventure to Profit with our membership program is we're trying to open the door so that we can now help anyone in, in their business at any level and sit there and, and uh, be another set of eyes on the problem. And maybe we've seen it, maybe we've encountered it before. Um, I actually was laughing um, as of, I believe the date was May the 12th, uh, 40 years ago, I would have graduated from dental school. That just sounds crazy. I can't, I can't even believe I've been in business for that long, but uh, believe me, I've done some good things and I've made some mistakes, but I've learned from them. And uh, I actually have about 3000 numbers in this phone here and I've made a lot of contacts. And, and so it's fun for us. It's fun for, for Neil and Abby and myself to help you. And that's why we're here. It's why we put the work into the channel is we really want to be able to help you all, no matter what level you're with. And so the good news is you're the problem. The bad news is you're the problem. But then the good news is we're here to help you and we're going to connect you up with people who can help you. Yeah, exactly. Um, any problem that you're running into is just not having a lack of knowledge or understanding of how to fix it. So you just need to find what piece of business information about your business don't you know and be willing to accept the fact that you don't know it. And then you can now say, this is what I need to work on and you can do something about it. And obviously we want to be one of your avenues to help you with it. But, you know, I'm not an expert on everything about business. Um, but, you know, you just have to be able to sit back and admit what you don't know. And that's the hardest problem for people who can't be helped is that they're not willing to admit that they are the problem. So mm -hmm. if you can sit there and say, yeah, I'm the problem. You're already doing better than a lot of people on this planet because most people can't admit that they are the problem, <laughs> which means you have less competition as a result of that. And so when you do realize you're the problem, okay, how do I get more information about this that I don't have? Or where can I go for this that I don't have and actually do something about it? And that's, that's the great thing about being a business owner is that you can change it. Um, you don't work for somebody else. That's the good news and the bad news. You don't work for somebody else, right? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so uh, I see domestic Chris, you're on tonight. Uh, we love you. You're awesome. Uh, this is an amazing entrepreneur from Kokomo, Indiana, our home state. And uh, Chris, you're amazing. Uh, how's the newborn? Just had a baby 10 days ago. Uh, still out there with your play cafe, making it go, grinding it out. Love people like you, Chris. So thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, Chris is part of our Adventure to Profit. That's what ATP is there in the chat box, Adventure to Profit. So again, uh, Neil, why don't you put that uh, up on the screen again, adventuretoprofit.com. Uh, if you're watching this and you wanna see if it might be appropriate for you to be working with uh, Abby and I in the Adventure to Profit program, you simply go to www.adventuretoprofit.com, fill out the application, and then let's see if we have a good match. But um, I don't know that we've got a whole lot more to say tonight about it. Uh, I guess for me, a few final comments on uh, where's the problem in the business. Um, if you think the problem is not you, um, you have a very big problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you think it's your spouse, you think it's your customers, you think it's the economy and you think it's absolutely positively not you, you have a very big problem. And um, Matterhorn probably isn't going to be help you, able to help you. And I'm not sure if anyone else can. But um, and, and again, if if Matterhorn is not a good fit for you, you, you should watch our video, go to our channel, subscribe watch the video that we put out each week, see if we resonate 
with you that it was not us that go to the next one and the next one and the next one uh, because other people were are going to help you pop yourself out and get in that helicopter and jump out of your business and be able to actually really take a look at what you can do to solve the problems in your business. Yeah, exactly. And the whole point of us saying that you're the problem is again, the ability to sit there and say, I am the problem. What can I do to make sure that this problem does not persist? How yeah. do I find the solution to the problem I'm running into? Okay. That's where an executive, that's where a leader comes in. A leader has to be able to make decisions based off of the overall goal that is being set for an entire group of people, not just for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's where leadership is about. It's the ability to make that decision without the emotion attached to it or anything of that nature. I mean, in another, uh, you know, on a side note, like I've got another company that we started uh, at the end of last year. And as we were going through uh, the pilot steps of it and working with our customers, they were telling us these problems that they had with what we're doing. And we're like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But <laughs> I had to change yeah. the way we operated the business to suit their needs because they're my customers. So I have to sit there and go, okay, well, the way I want to do it that I think makes the most sense isn't going to work. So I'm going to scrap that and we're going to do it this way and continuously make those types of changes. Not because, um, you know, I didn't look at it from a viewpoint of, well, that's not the way I want to do things. It was, okay, well, how do I get my product into the most hands? And if this is what's going to do that, then I have to get rid of my other way I thought I was going to do it, which I think is better, but they don't like. So therefore I have to change it and make that type of a unemotional decision. And that's, that's why you're the problem is because some people are going to go, Nope, not my fault. Yep. Yep. So I'm, I'm pretty summarized on this. I've said, all right, cool. Piece. I said my piece. Have you, you said, said your, your piece? piece? Have you said your piece? Yeah, I think so. I think they get the point. Uh, good. okay, good. So then for, for anybody who didn't see the beginning, uh, let's wrap up. We've talked about adventure and profit. Let's wrap up just one final plug on the membership. Yeah, so uh, we have a new YouTube membership program where you get to join the channel as a uh, as a member to uh, be able to um, be a part of very specific uh, group training that we're going to be holding with business professionals on growing your business from statistics and selling to uh, legal advice and accounting, marketing, uh, leadership. We have a whole group of professionals in those areas who have already signed on to come in and train uh, individuals. And some of these are very big companies that are worldwide that we know and we use their products and they're friends of ours. And uh, I reached out to them and said, this is what we're doing. We're putting together an online uh, learning resource through YouTube, through the membership channel. And um, we'd love to have you come in and speak and, tr and teach. And so we've already got people on board to do that. So all you have to do is uh, there's an icon, depending if you're watching on your phone or on a computer, there's a blue button that says join. You click on that button and it's going to lay out the membership program. But for as low as $20 a month, you'll be able to take part in these trainings. And let me tell you, um, I've already been working with the first presenter that we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. And uh, it's fantastic information. It's stuff that people pay hundreds of dollars for to do in an online course in your living room. You're going to be able to do it with us. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And that one is all about statistics and statistical management of spotting trends and knowing the future of your business. So you're not going to want to miss that. So uh, just click down below, hit the join button. It'll give you some more information there. And uh, we'll be having the first live training in the next couple of weeks. So all right. Thank you all very much for watching. Have thank a great you for week. the comments and the questions. We will see you all next Monday. And uh, on the channel tomorrow will be the official release video uh, for the membership program. And then Wednesday and Friday, we'll have our usual two uploads as well. So we will see you all next week.